اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاة والسلام على خاتم النبیین وعلى آلہ واصحابہ اجمعین برحمتک یا ارحم الراحمین وبعد السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ I wonder how is the president of China because uh, since long uh, he is not seen uh, a person is seen in public uh, a few days ago, but he had mask and uh, could not be well recognized as president. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Whatever the case may be, but I, uh, I think that uh, all the responsible authorities of China should have mercy on their public, on their people. Because the people of China are suffering badly. Uh, death, uh, death toll has uh, reached uh, uh, to thousands. The level is now in thousands. And uh, those who are infected, perhaps to hundreds of thousands. While those who are confined to home are in millions. Now, I think about those who are confined to homes. Uh, uh, there, there may be many who may not get food. Their food is discarded, wasted. Lots of food is discarded. Uh, so the people in all form are suffering. Those who are infected and those who are not infected. And although... Uh, the scientific measures are used to reduce infection, but in vain. Uh, there, are, there are doctors who predict that this infection may become pandemic in near future. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. Uh, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, to protect us all. But I understand once again that the things which are happening according to the Holy Quran, like the verse number 30 of Surah Ashura, in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that whatever calamity happens to, to people, that is what their own hands earn. So the trouble coming to us all is because our own own hands are in the trouble. That is due to our own actions. Now, generally, the people of China, they believe in, in Buddha. Uh, I had read about Buddha in the history. Uh, he is given the name Gautam Buddha, Mahatma Buddha, and Buddha. Now, he was a man. He was not God. He was a man, but he was a pious man. In history, I read that uh, as uh, all around him uh, in the habitation, there was a lot of evil and cruelty. And he used to feel very upset because he was a good person. So he left his, uh, his city and went to the forest. There, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, gave him guidance and he returned to his people and started preaching to them. Now, I believe that he must have preached to them to believe in and to obey the commands of one single unique God, to worship God. God is not man. God is not human being. God is a unique being, the creator, the master, the Lord, the sustainer, Everything, all power is in the hands of Almighty God. Whatever happens to us, whatever happens in this universe is happening by the will and command of Almighty God. Good comes to us due to the mercy of God, but bad, evil uh, calamities, they come because our own hands earn them. So, I... Uh, I wish if these Chinese people could believe in one single God, 
because buddha is not god god is one single and unique god has no son no wife no relative no father no helpers we cannot say that, that god is he or god is she because god is a unique being as god said in the holy quran la sakam mislihi shay nothing is like unto unto allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah is one of the names of god but that is the very very personal name uh, which comes along with other na- other names but god has many many beautiful names the rahman the beneficent ar rahim the most merciful al ghafur the forgiving al wadud the loving one al muntaqim the one who uh, who is the lord of retribution so god is not just the forgiving the merciful but are but also just and and the justice of allah the justice of almighty god will take people to hell and also in this world what whatever calamities come and hit people individually or at national level those are due to the justice of god so we must pray to god to protect us from his justice and we must we must control our actions we must believe in one single god one single and unique god we must follow god's prophets and the final prophet was muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we must believe in all the prophets and but we uh, we can follow the final prophet alaihi salam because his teachings are not changed because almighty god allah had taken responsibility to preserve the holy quran and nobody can change it and nobody will be able to change it i am not saying this from myself allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the holy quran wa in kuntum fi rabim mimma nazzalna ala abdina fa'tu bi suratin min mislihi wad'u shuhada'akum min dunillah in kuntum sadiqin fa in lam taf'alu wa lan taf'alu fattaqu an-nar allati waquduha an-nas wal hijara u'iddat lil kafirin god said that if you are for mankind if you are in doubt about this statement which we have revealed to our our servant the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam fa'tu bi suratin mislihi then you bring a surah a chapter the like of this and also you call your helpers your witnesses your help helpers other than allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but if you cannot do it and surely you will not be able to do it then fattaqu an-nar allati waquduha an-nas wal hijara then you must fear that fire the fuel of which will be people and stones o aidat lil kafirin which is prepared for the unbelievers so the unbelievers have no place of refuge the only place of refuge and the only method of refuge is to believe in only one single unique god and obey god's commands and worship god remember that god has created all has created all human beings to worship god wa ma khalaqtu al jinna wal insa illa liya'budun god says we did not create the jinni and the mankind but only to worship us so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us to worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we must worship allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember that the first thing is to believe in the absolute oneness of god the unique god and then the obedience to god is also to worship god the implementation of the laws of god is also uh, like to worship god then the worship uh, of god has two branches one is the haquq haquq allah and the second is haquq al ibad that means we have to fulfill the rights of god on us and we have to fulfill the rights of people on us there are two branches of worship you must understand it clearly when we for example when we believe in god and when we obey god's commands 
and we perform the rituals uh, of worship like uh, making uh, five times a day prayer, fasting in the month of Ramadan. Then we are trying to fulfill the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And also uh, serving parents, uh, serving children and giving them uh, good uh, training and good education on the pathway of Islam and uh, uh, helping the neighbors, feeding the neighbors, feeding the, the needies, uh, helping uh, the, uh, the relatives. Uh, even a neighbor on the way, if you find on our way uh, or in a bus or on a, in a train, someone in, in, in difficulty or in need, and we try to fulfill uh, his or her need, that means we also did perform the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has two branches. One is to fulfill the rights of Allah, and the second is to ful fulfill the rights of the servants of Allah. That means mankind, the rights of the mankind. And remember that, suppose if we couldn't fulfill the rights of Allah, the, the obligatory prayer, we must make up the loss by making prayer. The obligatory uh, fasting, we must make up the loss by, make, uh, by fasting. Uh, but other, uh, other mistakes which we make, we can say astaghfirullah and we hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive it. But uh, doing wrong concerning ibad, concerning the servants, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that will not be forgiven, forgiven to us until the person whose rights are taken away, uh, he forgives it. For example, if somebody tortures his neighbor, then the neighbor, he must ask uh, uh, the apology uh, of the neighbor. If the neighbor forgives him, Allah will forgive him. If the neighbor doesn't forgive him, Allah will not forgive him. So the rights of mankind are very important. Therefore, I advise the Chinese, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make my words reach them. That first of all, they must believe in one single unique God. And Buddha is not God. They shouldn't worship Buddha. They shouldn't worship statues. That is polytheism. That is, that is shirk, idolatry, which if a person died with that, will never be forgiven and will be in the hellfire forever and ever and ever. Second that, the Chinese authorities, they must be, uh, they must feel mercy uh, and, and, and do mercy on their people. Because if they, 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 they mend their ways, they take heed, they stop aggression against Islam, the authorities of China, must stop aggression against Islam. And they must free the, the, the Uyghur Muslims, must free them from torture. Then I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will remove this trouble. You see, they, ha they have been trying a lot, but coronavirus outbreak is increasing and increasing, and it is not decreasing at all. So the treatment is mainly spiritual. Along with the spiritual treatment, they must keep on the scientific methods of cleanliness. Uh, that is good. Islam doesn't prohibit that. Uh, rather, Islam encourages us for, for all those uh, uh, wise methods. But uh, the, the Creator, the Lord, must be obeyed and aggression against Islam must be stopped, the creator must not be challenged. If the Chinese authorities have any sympathy with their own people. See, the Uyghur Muslims are um, in, in, in prison, in concentration camps. Now their own people in million are like imprisoned in their houses. And I don't know whether all of them are getting food or many of them may be dying inside the houses. So there are ghost cities, as we, we, we saw, uh, as it was reported, ghost cities and ghost villages. And we don't know whether they are now empty from human habitation or the, the, all the human beings are 
like sieged in their houses. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, bring uh, mercy by giving guidance to these Chinese authority and also giving guidance to the Chinese people. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us all on the right pathway, the sirat mustaqim of Islam. Amin. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Allahumma salli ala muhammadin wa ala ali muhammad. Kama salli ta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim. Inna ka hamidun majid.